Welcome back to this Monday morning. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, live, large and in charge right here on SABC3. Now, the Recording Industry Association of America recently released a report that details how streaming now makes more money than physical CDs, digital downloads and licensing deals all combined. Now, if you're wondering why streaming has really virtually taken off, uh, we're joined by our tech expert, Brian Smith, who has promised to let us in on how music streaming has been adopted, especially here in South Africa. So this is quite... Uh, phenomenal news in terms of especially for artists young artists coming through and thinking about how music is consumed out there now that streaming is making up such a large portion but why exactly has streaming taken off that's a great question uh, so it's the adoption of music streaming generally is one a change of music ownership versus access to music and principally, that's if you think about it, that's actually one of the major reasons why it's taken off. Mm. It's the ease of access. Uh, it can be accessed by any smart device connected to the internet, such as a smartphone, which is on your person nearly 24-7. Yeah. And the interesting thing is that consumers now prefer the idea of access over ownership, over individually purchasing, downloading, and storing their own media. It kind of makes sense, the idea of having this wall just racked up with CDs or vinyls just isn't as appealing as having two million songs ready and available for you to play whenever you want. At your fingertips, right? Uh, yeah. And the major thing is that I think the promise of many MP3 players, if you remember a couple of years ago when they came out, was the idea that you could have up to 2,000 songs at your fingertips. Yeah. Now it's you can have a limitless catalogue at your disposal, and I think yeah. that's really the interesting factor. What about from a South African perspective? How has uh, streaming really been adopted here? That's a good question. So as of the last small to medium enterprise survey results last year, released a very interesting figure in that the music streaming industry in South Africa is expected to grow by 34% up to 2020. So music streaming will one day overtake pretty much all other mediums of uh, music ownership from physical sales to digital downloads yeah. and is second only at the moment to uh, revenue generated from live studio shows. So where do you see this having the biggest influ uh, influence or impact uh, in the future? I think in the future what we can expect to see is the idea furthermore of digital ownership expending itself in different ways. I think principally what we can expect are uh, the music streaming services themselves to release new products catering to different price tiers. So at the moment, for example, what you might have is a free tier, a freemium tier, in which you might have some ads perhaps at a far less frequency than usual, mm -hmm. or otherwise you might just have a fully paid service. And I think what we can expect to see are different revenue models built within that, and hopefully one that will rely on less data, as that obviously being a massive barrier to consumer adoption is the high cost of mobile data, particularly in South Africa. Yeah, well, a, an interesting conundrum that that now poses, as I said, to artists, because when you go out there and you're making music, the question now is, do you go for the very attractive licensing deal that's been offered to you by a record label, or do you just go, well, it's a streaming world, I'm sure I can find my audience, it'll take time to build it, so let me just have my music on the platform and try and market it myself. That's a very interesting kind of choice that they'd have to make. Definitely. Yeah. And what's interesting as well is that we can't discount the fact that medium, the choice of download and the venue where a song is available can influence the format of a song to begin with. Of course. What we do see is uh, artists more commonly tending towards developing shorter songs in the range of three minutes, yeah. staying away from the longer tracks that they might have been able to cut on physical media, yes. simply for ease of access and simply download file size yeah. when using a streaming service. Okay. Brian, thank you very much. Very interesting stuff. I, I, take, I take an interest in, in, in things like this, especially when it involves music. And of course, uh, we'll do it again next week. Happy Heritage Day to you. Bro. And to you as is well. There, wait, is there a part of your heritage that you want to share with South Africa that you think they might not otherwise know? Well, I'm actually from Durban, so we might be recording in sunny Cape Town. So I'll give all everyone from KwaZulu Natal a big shout out. Shout out to you, man. And of course, we're also hanging out with our friends from Um Shobo Wenen Abashobo. A little bit later on, we'll carry on with our Um uh, Ondo Ondo, where they're teaching us some of their most yo, expensive Kosa words that I'm learning how to spell. So stay tuned for that right now. Time for the news headlines.